Hello and welcome. This is Celito Rodriguez with another presentation. This one is titled Project Scope Management and the purpose of this presentation is to discuss the importance, significance and the elements that compose Project Scope Management. Agenda. In this short presentation, we will discuss the importance of scope management for project success. Uh, we'll talk about the significance of developing a, a scope statement. We will be talking about constructing a work breakdown structure for a project, developing a responsibility assignment matrix, and finally, we will talk about changes and configuration management in assessing a project scope. The importance of a scope management for project success. Project scope management is the detailed development of the project plan to specify the work content and outcomes of the project, the activities that must be performed, and the resources consumed and also the quality standards to be maintained. Uh, the six steps in creating a project scope management procedure are conceptual development, the scope statement, work authorization, a scope reporting, control systems, and project closeout. The conceptual development uh, is the process of choosing the best method for achieving the project's goals. The project's conceptual development allows the project manager to begin the process of transitioning from the project as a dream to the project as a specific goal or a set of objectives. Uh, problem statements, information gathering, identify constraints, alternative analysis, and final project objectives are all created during the conceptual development. The scope statement is a comprehensive definition of all parameters necessary for the project to succeed. A number of elements uh, factor into effective scope statement development, but perhaps most key is the work breakdown structure or uh, commonly known as the WBS. Uh, the work breakdown process gives the project team the ability to create a hierarchy of activities, uh, base priorities, creating work packages, tasks, and subtasks as building blocks for completing the overall project. When this is uh, coupled with a clear responsibility assignment matrix or RAM, the project manager and team are able to begin moving beyond the project as a concept and uh, tackle the project as a uh, set of identified activities with responsible personnel assigned to them. Work authorization, the third element in project scope management, refers to the process of sanctioning all project work. This step may involve formulating contractual obligation with vendors, suppliers, and clients. Uh, project scope reporting refers to any control systems and documentation that will be used to assess the project's overall status. Examples of uh, scope reporting include the creation of control documents and budget and uh, schedule uh, uh, tracking. Control systems, including configuration management, refer to the process put in place to track the ongoing status of the project, uh, compare actual with baseline projections, and offer corrective measures for uh, bringing the project back on track. And, and finally, the project closeout phase represents the project uh, team's best determination as to the information and transition materials necessary to ensure a smooth transfer of the project to its intended clients. The significance of developing a scope statement. 
The project scope statement reflects the project team's best efforts to create the documentation and approval for all important project parameters prior to beginning the development phase. This statement is an opportunity to clearly identify the elements of the project and what it is intended to accomplish, as well as to identify the project's critical features. The elements in the scope statement include 1. Establishing the goal criteria, that is, defining what will demonstrate project success and what the decision gates are for evaluating deliverables. Two, Developing the management plan for the project. Uh, in other words, determining the uh, structure for the project team, key rules and procedures that will be maintained, and the control systems to monitor effort. Three, establishing the work breakdown structure, which means dividing the project into uh, component sub-steps in order to establish the critical interrelationships among project activities. And four, creating a, a scope baseline, which means providing a summary description of each component of the project's goal, including budget and a schedule information for each activity. Constructing a work breakdown structure. The work breakdown structure, or WBS, is a process that sets a project scope by breaking down its overall mission into a cohesive set of synchronous, increasingly specific tasks. Defined as a deliverable-oriented grouping of project elements, which organizes and defines the total scope of the project. The WBS is the most important organizing tool project teams have in preparing their tasks. The WBS serves six main purposes. 1. It echoes project objectives. 2. It is the organization chart for the project. 3. It creates the logic for tracking costs, a schedule, and performance specifications for each element in the project. 4. It may be used to communicate project status. 5. It may be used to improve overall project communication. And 6. It demonstrates how the project will be controlled. The logic of the WBS is to subdivide project deliverables into increasingly more specific sub-levels to identify all significant activities. The common terminology is to first identify the overall project, then the major deliverables for that project, and finally the work packages that must be accomplished to complete each deliverable. Closely related to the WBS is the Organization Breakdown Structure, or OBS, which allows companies to define the work to be accomplished and assign it to the owners of the work packages. The budgets for these activities are then directly assigned to the departmental Developing a Responsibility Matrix The Responsibility Assignment Matrix, or RAM, sometimes referred to as a Linear Responsibility Chart, identifies project team personnel who are directly responsible for each task in the project's development. The RAM identifies where responsible team members can go for task support, who should next be notified of the task completion status and any sign-off requirements. The goal of the RAM is to facilitate communication between project team personnel to minimize transition disruptions as the project moves toward completion. 
an additional benefit of the RAM is to make the coordination between project managers and functional department uh, department heads easier as they work to make best use of personnel who may be assigned to the project for only temporary periods. Changes and configuration management. Significant project changes occur for a number of reasons, including one, initial planning errors, either technological or human, two, additional knowledge of project or environmental conditions, three, uncontrollable, uncontrollable mandates, and four, client requests. The four stages of configuration management are 1. Configuration identification or breaking down the project and identifying the uh, specifications of its components. 2. Configuration reviews, which means meeting with the stakeholders to agree to uh, project definition. 3. Configuration control that is, uh, following agreement with the stakeholders, developing the breakdown and uh, specifications further, and four, a status accounting, which means maintaining memory of all current and previous uh, configurations for reference. This concludes this presentation. I hope that you have found it uh, useful and interesting and I will see you in my next presentation.